Arnold Schwarzenegger was born Arnold Alois Schwarzenegger on July 30, 1947, in the small village of Thal, Austria. His upbringing in this humble setting was marked by a blend of simplicity and ambition that would come to define his character. Growing up, Arnold experienced a childhood shaped by the post World War II era, where resources were scarce yet determination and resilience thrived. In those early years in Austria, his passion for sports and physical fitness ignited. His father, Gustav, who was a local police chief and a former soldier in World War II, instilled a sense of discipline and introduced Arnold to various sports. It was still looks uh, alive to me. He grew up about uh, six centimeters uh, since I think like 2017. Google had posted he was six tall and now he is already 188. So he seems to me he's alive. Look at him, he's got there working on a Holocaust Museum in Los Angeles. It says here, he was born in Thal in Austria. In Thal in Austria he was born. <clears throat> and a little earlier <laughs> I googled the address of Arnold Schwarzenegger and it says that he is in Tal what is this here? Linakstrasse 9 Linakstrasse 9 <clears throat> I don't know is it Possible not. Uh, if number nine always was his address in Thal, in Austrian Thal, which is a city, uh, like a village more, <clears throat> not too far from quite a big city. It's called Graz. And you, if you were to make a trip to To Novo Mesto, it would take you about two hours and 50 minutes to get here, and it's 260 kilometers. And now it's probably getting interesting because this video is during this time that dedicated to me. Uh, while using Schwarzenegger is passed away last night, even um, <clears throat> whatever, whoever posted this on the internet, I don't know. This is the actor's news. Obviously, Donald Trump, who is trying to prove there's a lot of fake news out there. Uh, <clears throat> this is basically how they're proving <clears throat> there is a fake news out there. Maybe tomorrow they're going to make up my mind and they're going to say, well, you know, we took thousand websites that were fake websites down and I'm going to be without the website. <laughs> I mean, this is not how it works. Uh, in my case, it didn't, but many people complain about it and you really never know these days. So um, I decided that the seeds of his well, remarkable reasons, journey I'm going to were this video. So when is it going to be the funeral? I want to know. Ah, uh, fuck. 
who the hell knows, maybe I'm going to go first before him. <laughs> so let's get to work. Uh, and uh, I was thinking on where I should start with this Austrian Tal. If you want to know something, I'm doing this video uh, really not even because of Schwarzenegger. Uh, Schwarzenegger cannot afford video like this. Uh, but I am doing this for hmm, how I would say this to the hmm, I am doing the stuff basically intelligence on a lot of issues throughout the Europe. Background backgrounds of uh, certain countries which I experienced uh, is when subjected to MK Ultra torture. Mm, I would just say systematic killing. But these are the words that Arnold Schwarzenegger would not even want me ever to even think about. Um, and the couple that you have seen a little earlier, that's actually a really, really nice couple. And I kind of felt bad about throwing this stone a picture like at the beginning of the video. I started my, you can call one even a crazy show, whatever you want. But nobody dares to argue with one because it's so accurate that not Wikipedia, no fucking media, whoever, uh, portrayed ever reality the way I did. I did go without any kind of... Uh, I took in this world pretty much without any kind of hesitation. I would even say mercy. Uh, this couple here, it disappeared me now. That's why I moved this way here so that I could. This beautiful couple is from Graz. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful wife uh, always appeared much younger than he does. And they're from Graz. And they they made sure that that I would see them, basically. That I would, that I would see them because they always... Uh, I, I have no idea, but these people always... Often, well, always, not really, but very often time, whenever I found myself here... I see this beautiful couple going through, and uh, this is just uh, extremely, extremely soft, good-hearted people. Um, I don't know who they are. They're from Graz. Um, I would actually have to think about this stuff, you know. Uh, I think they have me with them in the Graz, yeah. Oh, this is another story again. Um, this is again a totally separate story. Well, um, basically, you have to be smart to see that after I Google the address, Linakstrasse 9, uh, I came across uh, the house of Schwarzenegger. Okay, the stuff is going to go, it's going to happen something. Oh, well. Schwarzenegger is, um, Schwarzenegger was always, um, how can I say, um, Yeah, he basically, what can I say, maybe today I'm going to describe his character so that you get to know, uh, you know, real Schwarzenegger, what I can tell about the Schwarzenegger, basically, like, firsthand about who Schwarzenegger is, how the Schwarzenegger got into my life. 
what kind of consequences this had for me. You know, basically that kind of stuff. Now, what is it that you want to know about this city? A lot of things. If I want to go and do the MK Ultra, I could do about this city. I could tell you where this statue was placed over there, when the renovation of the house took place, uh, when they made, uh, when they fixed the parking lot. I could tell you all this kind of stuff, but why the fuck would I waste brain on something that is just not worthy for me to trash my mind on, basically. I'm not going to be fucking talking to myself. Um, the main thing here, for me, the castle is still here. When I came here to this uh, place, um, I, uh, I just wanted to see the fucking castle and uh, I decided the castle is going to be mine and uh, I got really really pissed off when it appeared that somebody purchased the castle I wasn't happy about this stuff now this is getting really weird and crazy now um, but I'm coming from a completely different background from a totally different world from the world where it wouldn't be exactly that I would go that I would get idea about the castles um, let's say from British Royals uh, or I don't know places that they were delivering me throughout Europe but uh, I myself enforced uh, a castle a lot back in the day. I was the one who enforced this here. I was the one who enforced this, these things here. I literally built these things. I started to build these things from ruins that nobody wanted to see anymore. Literally, this is the way it was. When I was probably... Who the hell knows how old the fuck I was? I was probably like... Five, six years old. Because I'm coming from the city of the Novo Mesto that is quite... Um significant landmark, historical landmark uh, on the map of the world with uh, some incredible architecture uh, churches that date to 800th century uh, etc. actually even 600th century um, some Incredible, incredible. We have castles here. Incredible, incredible stuff. Uh, and for me to burn Belgrade and Moscow, uh, despite being acknowledged by my schoolmates and teachers uh, and absolutely everybody as mentally ill, including uh, people here from this uh not Linux Strasse, but uh, this part of the Thal, they became so cocky, man. Uh, I could not afford for some idiots to, including Arnold Schwarzenegger, who became a terrible idiot, to have impact on me. Um, this, this is definitely true that this man was extremely disciplined, July 30th. He was hard working and stuff. I don't have a time to go over this stuff. Um, hard working, disciplined individual, incredibly 
There absolutely is no doubt about it. Uh, but he also has a rotten character. Uh, so I know that Paul says right now goodbye to me because this is the way it was. If you will ever say this, etc., etc., and you're going to destroy us, our Schwarzenegger, and this and that, and so on and so forth. But <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm not here to destroy your Schwarzenegger. Uh, this is just I who came for a visit right now and I decided I'm gonna do a little MK Ultra here in this issue. This shit here, this was renovated. <laughs> I think they screw me up. I think about 1999, this stuff here. See, the things that I like, you can never fuck me because I don't make any kind of errors with those things. When something is of my interest, it does not escape under any circumstances. Well, I can tell you about this place. Um, my story, and I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to get up to here, uh, because it's a, it's a waste of time, this stuff anyways, you know. Uh, but back in the day, when I came to visit Arnold Schwarzenegger to Austria, and you know how it all happened. The way this stuff happened, uh, the way this stuff happened was Schwarzenegger met me in Germany. I think it was Germany. I don't think it was Moscow or anything like this. We were, they would, Soviets were all over the Western Germany also, not only Eastern Germany. And they delivered me to Western Germany also. And Schwarzenegger just happened, uh, became involved in this circle, Illuminati circle, if you like, when I was like, yeah, I probably was like six years old. I was already a veteran by then. I was already a veteran. Schwarzenegger was just a baby. He, at his age, uh, what the hell is this says here? How old is he? He's about, what, 20 years older than myself? Yeah, you see, but this doesn't matter in this business. He is a 25 years older than myself. 25. This guy already was 31 years old. My God, and I... I barely entered the first grade of the grammar school, and I was a veteran on a global map, having already five years and a half of a rough, tough life like a baby. When this guy, when he was like 31 years old, became... I don't know, champion when he was already 20 or whatever it was. He was incredible, outstanding. I mean, just look at this muscles. Uh, look at him. I mean, he was winning a, you know. He contested throughout the world and was collecting basically cash meeting politicians uh, made a tremendous impression on the Soviets um, who were attracted to the muscles and that kind of stuff. Barbaric stuff. Uh, but I was a real little barbarian. And uh, I had to survive. I had a task. And this task demanded for me to survive. And this task did not allow, it, didn't even matter how popular the person was or who the person was, if it was a president or it was a king or it was a queen or whatever it was. His, her opinion really didn't fucking matter. Because in my world, there was no space for any kind of softness, basically. In my world, 
either you fucking survive or you fucking dead. Sometimes you have to act stupid and dunk down and even allow whatever they wanted to stay alive in my world, but must never ever uh, admit any kind of uh, backing or allowing anybody to, um, you know, claim victory on a long term or something like this. I mean, this was my world. My world was fight to the bitter end. This phrase, this British phrase, it says, <laughs> no surrender. I've never heard for anything so fucking stupid, like no surrender. What the fuck that means? I said to myself, boy, uh, when I watch that stuff, those guys, I said to myself, when they go on a battlefield, when they go this, those guys are already a program, get beaten up, I mean. Because the phrase no surrender is... This is something that uh, includes the word that should not even be on a list of the people that go and are committed to do a certain task, to complete a certain task. British soldiers do not lose on a battlefield, but in private life, once they are done serving that military service, very often, unfortunately, do. It's not the society that leaves them behind, but this is just the way the British colonialism works um, what a fantastic guy model uh, influencer and somebody who express tremendous interest demanded from Louisa Petrla from this individual here this was the man This was a Udba man who already traveled the world much more than what I supposed, anticipated. He's the same age practically as a Schwarzenegger. Look at that. He signaled him that he wants to see me, meet me. And, well, my story doesn't start here. Uh, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum in Tallinn, Austria, but my story, uh, yeah, this is like more likely. By the way, this is like really fucked up place here. This is one thing I would not move to this place because this is, I, I think this is a lower tall or whatever it is. I don't know. This here, this place here, yeah. Yeah, I see that they upgraded, they expanded, yeah, yeah. Uh, there were some beautiful German girls here, but one time when I came here, this place here, I went for a walk. They wanted me to go by myself for a walk, and when I came up this hill, I was practically assaulted by two individuals, uh, Germans, blonde. It could be that might have been, I don't know, all through the father was very nice with me, from this girl right there who got married and some other guy, and uh, etc., etc., I actually even had two girls. Uh, but who the hell was the other guy? Well, you know, to go over the memories, for that matter, you would need uh, a lot of time to go uh, and start to melt your brain. And I am not going to go and break my brain right now with this. Who knows the hell? Maybe he was from this house. I don't know. I don't care. So, my story starts in a destination I am going to demonstrate to you. At age six, when it comes to the Austrian Tal, at this location here, 
almost I could say this tree here yeah I was actually told it was dedicated to me but not in a way I would ever see myself in one this is the main street through which either Loise Peterle or it would become also next to the Loise Peterle it would be this individual that would also deliver me however not as often and uh, he was not a, such a nice guy when I was a kid he was a police officer Udba also and he looks very German uh, and the other one here that you see right there Peterle also for them it's everything just started it seems to me that this guy traveled a lot to Europe uh, he liked novelties all kinds of novelties uh, love to travel and he was just perfect for this Yugoslav Josip Broz Tito system they use these two guys to blend well into uh, if necessary into German society and so on um, he wanted me he wanted Schwarzenegger wanted to see me and uh, you see there is a this is basically where you go to Tal right if you if you go here and uh, then you're gonna see the sign across the bridge so let me demonstrate you where exactly I am right now if you google Tal okay if you google Tal if you google Tal it will throw you exactly here somewhere right is it Tal Austria uh, so we have Obertal okay. okay so this is basically what is it here it says the Tal is here it says yeah and uh, I just traveled in what is known as uh, Unterhal Unterhaltstrasse, is it Unterhalt? Unter, Unterhaltstrasse, yeah, okay. No. This is here, this is basically where the sign is. I demonstrated you right now for the tall. Oh, what the crap. Not that much time, I don't have it. Mm. Yeah. hey this is not even funny anymore you know if it's gonna go like this I am just gonna fucking end this because I don't have so much time to waste it would be awesome Uh, hold on a moment. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Let's see this. Mm, yeah. I made a mistake, right? Or not? I did. I made a mistake. Uh, this is a what is the name of this one here this is a Tarstrasse okay so first of all this is where they would bring me here across this place here it's like, and uh, I'll never forget my first days you know when I came here it would be this road here 
they would use. Uh, this was frequently the road they would use. And uh, um, Boucher and uh, Petrle, whenever they would deliver me to Tal, this would be the road they used here. You see this here. But Petrle smelled also the way to come through here. Uh, Petrle and Boucher, both, all of them became more and more addicted to me, to my views, to my ideas. Uh, like I said, uh, as much as many uh, acknowledge me as mentally ill, because I started to push forward agenda with the castles, uh, with the European culture and stuff like this, as a baby, it didn't make any fucking sense. Uh, is what they claimed it didn't make any sense but it did because it started to deliver to the eastern europeans uh the sense of own identity and over the course of the time this have proven to be the most lethal weapon this mental illness of mine appeared became the most lethal weapon weapon against the Soviet Union. I weaponized myself with a mental illness and uh, wherever I went, I uh, off we go, I delivered one to the unsuspected people before you know it was a uh, you know, I'm not going to go any further than that. Tall, go. Yeah, this beautiful, you know, different, very, very different uh, from what I am. Uh, landscape. Uh, actually, not really a very different landscape. It's, it's quite like this here. But, yeah, it just, I don't know why, but I love it when it was like this sunny. I love this sunny like this when I would come. Sometimes it was a snow. Sometimes it was exactly like this. And, you know, these trees always were tall. They are still the same. Trees uh It always was like this. I find it like always like this. Um, even this here, I am not capable to tell you if this was new or not. To me, this color, this, what you see, this, it appears to me. No, this was actually not always here. I think they put this stuff sometimes here when I was because of me they said to make the child more um, something positive something in that sense probably when I was like uh, this person also has some daughters um, maybe even I was like 12 years old, they put this yellow. Um, this, however, is the oldest tree, is this one here. Uh, and, you know, All these uh, pine trees that you see right there, it was like this, that they had these tall trees. Why do the trees still look small? Because it's a land like this, because it's not, I don't know what. They grow up to certain size, but not more. And 
they last longer this way, I found. Opposed to the trees in some other areas, these trees always appear like younger, rejuvenated. They always keep their size. This tree almost is, based on my memory, still the way it was. It's right here. It's a tree of pain and suffering because this uh, place here became my uh, location. This place here. When it all started, we proceeded through here. We zoomed forward. <laughs> but that no longer, to the Schwarzenegger, but that no longer became an option anymore. Uh, it no longer became an option anymore. Schwarzenegger became afraid because the next guests that were coming uh, to visit Schwarzenegger literally were Udba killers and his family literally, literally were a Yugoslav Udba killers um, from Ljubljana. Hmm. And no surprise of mine, uh, before you know, at my age nine, I had a whole class of children here. They might have been in the second grade, maybe I was age eight. And I had my classmates from Osnona Shola Gurum when I was eight years old coming to this place to see it. At the time, the house of Arnold Schwarzenegger was this here, this house here. This is the house of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is for me this was the house of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Became a house of Arnold Schwarzenegger. The option to go to his uh, place, uh, I think it's in this direction here, right? It no longer was uh, accessible for me. It was no longer option because of what I stated happened. Things were developing very, very quickly. Uh, obviously, that this is not Schwarzenegger is home, right? But it was Austrian government, German government, that made sure that I would be treated like a guest here with the Slovenian politicians. Uh, and even the children, as I stated to you from Osnona Shola Gurum, from the second class was the first time when they came here for a visit. And I was already eight years old. And it was also the time when I no longer wanted to see Schwarzenegger because he fucked me. He betrayed me. Schwarzenegger claimed me that he will save me. And when that class arrived with me to this place here. Schwarzenegger changed his mind about saving me. And I endured, like everything else in my life, a first humiliation in Tal. So I was age eight. Uh, this here was the second uh, restaurant here. So this became the place for us. Schwarzenegger, meanwhile, disappeared from the picture. He didn't want, he wanted to keep his home as a secret. No, I'm at the wrong place. Uh, let's go back here. 
So this is a thriller, you know, this is kind of a horror show, actually, uh, through the eyes of a, a child, you know. Um, this year was a second home of Arnold Schwarzenegger in my head. They also had a beautiful daughters. Who also got happily married like all these German girls did. And uh well obviously that this was a fucking waste of time and I'm glad it turned out to be this way. Another restaurant basically Germans started to make a really really good money hosting Yugoslav Udba people that started to gather more and more often in this place here. How do you like this? Schwarzenegger, when I was eight years old, when the kids came from Osnono Shola Gurum, my classmates, it was actually Kosic. Uh, Kosic. What was her name? Kosic. Um, it could be Urska, I don't know. No, Spela Kosic. It was a Spela Kosic, and it was um, Spela Kosic was very, very. She had, she had, uh, she had like a very, very long tongue, and she was known that she just uh, used that tongue very efficiently. Um, <laughs> Um, her parents, however, I think were very affiliated with the Udba, and it was nothing funny about it. Those are children, but their parents were not so funny. Uh, if children already were not terrifying enough. I was trying to get away from it. Uh, when I was eight years old, I already convinced my father to move to Austria from Slovenia, and my father agreed with it. My father wanted to move to Austria when I was eight years old, because of bestiality performed against us by Ljubljana and Belgrade. So I learned, thanks to the Tal, that my father did not have everything so damn wrong, and eventually was even thinking of escaping from here, from this shithole. It was this guy here, Loise Petrle, who suggested one, also on my behalf, that we in fact should disappear from Slovenia because of Udba in Belgrade, because of the things, the way things went on. This was the guy that I affiliated with uh, psychologically the most. He observed, he watched, and he was becoming more and more uh, attached to me, to my views, the way I view the world. Uh, and I really kind of adopted him for uh, my personal politician. Soon also uh, Boucher and other politicians. Um, <clears throat> on opportunity, Schwarzenegger took side uh, with the children against me. And I no longer wanted to have anything to do with him. Uh, I was extremely, extremely resentful. Once you cross my path, uh, and if you even dare to acknowledge me as mentally ill or something, you no longer fucking existed for me. It's simple as this. And it didn't matter who you were, how big you were, or whatever the fuck you were. Uh, I was choosing the friends based on loyalty. That was, for me, a friendship. Unconditional loyalty. Schwarzenegger did not have any kind of qualities like this. Schwarzenegger asked that how disciplined he is and uh, that I have to, I don't know what the, the fuck I have to do. Uh, my grades in the school, I don't know what. Uh, he was just, uh, he became like really, really heavy basically without paying any kind of a, attention to what actually went on over there in Slovenia and my life in general and so on. Didn't make any fucking sense other than let it go, let it loose, basically, for time to get passed by and hope to grow up as fast as possible, uh, basically, 
to get a chance in life, you know. Um, quite a thriller. Um, this city, as a Belgrade people started to pop up here, not anymore even Ljubljana, but also Belgrade, they would come from a different direction. They would come uh, from, uh, they will be using another road, maybe even this road here. I have no idea what exactly was the road that they, that they used, but uh, I imagine that, uh, yeah, this is a perfect, this Lebensmittel Automat is perfect for me. We're going to get directions here and we're going to go from Maribor. Yeah, they went straight to Graz, basically, uh, and were using another road. And I think the road was totally different from the one that we were using. Yeah, this was the road they were using, you see, where in direction of the Schwarzenegger. They were passing the Schwarzenegger, but they did not know that. So whenever I traveled with the Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, I traveled uh, this road. This is a completely different road. They didn't want anything. They didn't give a fuck about uh, landscape and so on. But when I went with the Petrla, well, he actually, we actually treated ourselves and we enjoyed the landscape and, uh, <coughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Even seeing people and so on meeting people, all kinds of people, and so on. So this is, yeah, this, this here, dark like this. This was Milan Kuchan, this here. When this road here, screaming, yelling inside of the car. Death threats, this here. This. The most horrific stuff was here, this. This was uh, stuff that uh, I believe... Uh, screaming and yelling that went on inside, sometimes also with the Serbs, zoo, basically, that traveled to the Austria. Uh, how can I even explain this stuff? I, I don't know how I would explain this stuff. Yeah, I think that that they, they these people were not normal anyways, because they... Uh, because the way they try to destroy me, the way they try to kill me, it definitely left very serious uh, consequences on their psyche. Um, I uh, started to understand these issues very, very quickly since very early childhood, and this is why I was so impenetrable. This here, this... When I when we would come here at this part of the road, this is when the screaming would start right here. Exactly here, this this area here, this. So they waited for us to get out of this tal. And when you see this here isolated, like this dark place, this is when they completely lost it inside. We'll kill you. We'll do this. You're fucked. You're gonna you come home. You're gonna see this. It's gonna be that. And yeah, they follow up with all the violence and so on. Stuff I was told, it's just uh, kill your mama, kill your papa, kill your fucking sister, kill fucking everything. Fucking kill you. I don't know what to do with you. This is what I listened afterwards. All the way back home. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just perfect. This was Ljubljana. And Belgrade, this is where they traveled to the Tal. And Schwarzenegger was really laughing because he stated they traveled right past my house and they never knew that it was my house, actually. They made an assumption that I live in part of the Tal, uh, where, which one I demonstrated to you. No. So you see this here, Schwarzenegger Museum, this here. 
So they traveled right past him. What is this shit here? Uh, this is a lake. Schwarzenegger said that he also swam when he was a kid and that kind of stuff. You know. Um, this here, the place, the restaurant. I am only gonna say to you, this stuff was completed when Slovenia gained its independence, and uh, once Slovenia gained its independence, actually this was completed. Like Slovenia gaining its independence in uh, 91, 91, 92, 93. Um, yeah, this stuff was completed sometimes. I I believe this this was completed sometimes for Slovenian independence, something like this, like in 19. I would say like in 1994, like three years after Slovenian independence. <laughs> I'm an encyclopedia when it comes to this shit here. All these locations, houses, attractions. Um, this here, this place. Obviously, this was not Arnold Schwarzenegger's house. Oh, wait, that's an automat. And I keep coming. Is it? No, this is what? Unterhaltstrasse. Unterhalt. This is a fuck up. This is to give up, to surrender yourself. <laughs> Uh, Schwarzenegger did not like the name of that street. I did neither. But here's the thing. Um, this was the main street where we will come. And for me, the home of Arnold Schwarzenegger was this here. <coughs> <coughs> These people, however, started to, <coughs> to treat me, view me. <coughs> they treated me okay. <coughs> They treat me okay if you consider that they would view you as mentally ill. Like I mentioned for these two Germans a little earlier, that they would come and suggest that I'm mentally ill at top of the hill. Uh, they saw me like a subhuman being or something like this. Uh, and over the course of the time, it's pretty much entire village became arrogant uh, viewing me in exactly that way and you know what I said fuck it but I don't want to come here no more Arnold Schwarzenegger made another mistake that's basically when I was like nine years old he said that he doesn't want to ever see me again and uh, that's what he told me that he doesn't want to see me again and that i am mentally retarded and that i will not make it in the school that i'm a loser and that kind of stuff when uh he stated me that kind of stuff uh, and then I had to make sure to fuck him as much as possible. Uh, and I started to treat him like a shit, basically. Uh, like a nobody. And I didn't want to be on the picture anymore here. Uh, I didn't want to see this city. I didn't want to know about this city. Uh, he was trying to get rid of me, but he couldn't. Because in MK Ultra World, I was a king of MK Ultra World. At age nine, I was a king of MK Ultra World, on whom entire Germany, Poland, Romania, Hung Hungary, uh, Bulgaria, Ukraine, um, Kazakhstan, uh, you name it, depended on. And he was a fucking nobody. He was just an actor 
a bodybuilder, and that's all the fuck there was. He started to lose his mind over this issue when I was 10 years old and realize just how much he is lagging behind me as far as influencing the world. He had no fucking influence. The only thing he was doing is he was uh, bodybuilding, basically. That's what he was doing. And he did that better than anybody else. And he admitted this. By when I was age 11, age 12, uh, he did everything possible that he would get back and change and make good impression on me and so on and started to dedicate himself to the politic when I was 12 years old. When I was uh, 11 and 12, he admitted me that he failed when compared to me. As an influencer on a global politic, on the world, he learned from me how much a baby, basically a boy, a child afterwards, finally a teenager, what kind of influence one can have and somebody whom he, in his Austrian village, rated, labeled as mentally ill. You know, every house here that you see became involved in a physical torture. And these physical tortures were horrific. Uh, it appears that Austrian government financed these things. Um, it appears that the Austrian government paid based on the amount of torture they performed on me, or in other words, they did absolutely everything to get me killed, to break me down. I saw here, maybe there was like three houses here, uh, it's kind of strange actually that that I was capable to go inside in there, but these are the houses that did not want to have to torture me. Uh, finally, I think even they had to do some unpleasanties, some nasty stuff. I don't know if there was a single house that did not get involved in torture. Even these three houses, at one point in time, they had to, I think. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Maybe, I'm not sure, I'm really, really not sure, uh, maybe this house did not, and you see that, I have no idea, yeah. it was pathetic, it was criminal, it was as murderous, uh, it became a location where I would be delivered for nothing other than being killed, basically. How did Arnold Schwarzenegger manage to keep this shit silent? Uh, well, that's, you got to ask him uh, how that works. What is this thing here? Uh, I think this, this is, uh, Ibrahim Vala, guy that, uh, purchased, um, this property that I demonstrated you, uh, I think, Just let me see this here again. Ibrahim Vala is the house behind this one here. Yeah, he purchased this property. You know when he purchased when you know when Mr. Ibrahim Vala purchased this stuff here? Let's do a little calculation.
yeah, this goes to sometimes like 2010. 2010. Uh, uh, Two thousand and ten. What I mean, uh, I can go from one house to another, and I can tell you about things. It was not good. And Arnold Schwarzenegger dreamed about. He dreamed about. He said actually that he will rest in peace when he hear me giving the account about how much I was tortured inside of his inside of his village where he is coming from, city where he is coming from. Schwarzenegger did not only torture here in, in, uh, in the stall here in his birthplace in Austria. Uh, he also tortured in Los Angeles using his daughter, his both sons. Um, as a matter of fact, As a matter of fact, <laughs> Christopher and what's the name of the kids? Patrick never got involved really in a torture, I think. Patrick didn't want to have anything to do with it. Um, but as far as his daughter, and uh, Joseph Baena, this was nothing other than about torture. This is just a crap. Crazy stuff. Bad crazy shit. Sick stuff. Um... I know it's got to be kind of embarrassing, right? Because you, 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 ah, you did not, you did not, you do not thought that I'm mentally ill. You're just fucking evil. You just have that the German character. Uh, you know, it's just the German way, basically. Come on. Uh, here and there, you just have to kill somebody. And it doesn't fucking matter. And throw his bones under the bed and go on about life like everything is normal. This is just a German way, basically. It's not. It's not such a, such a big deal. It's a. It's a normal thing, actually. And if you can you actually pose with those bones uh, throughout the media and so on, and uh, you know, it's 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 nothing wrong with it, man. It's just a German culture. It's a German way. I had no fucking idea about, but. Today I know I was lucky for my father did not immigrate to Austria at my age eight because it would be a sad end. My father acknowledged them as mentally ill, just as I did, uh, based on the way they viewed reality as uh, housing, uh, mentality, work ethics ambitions in one uh, my father was not impressed with whatever Austrian side was offering one and frankly I wasn't either they were to me a rather a very very serious uh, stupidity because for the cost of moving to Austria uh, my father would actually end up losing a, a whole lot and uh, that was also the way to destroy people. Basically, they make you move. They make they make you make your moves, and eventually they destroy. You. Especially when consider that the Austrian government was completely connected with the Serbs, with the Russians, and so on. You know. uh, how do you enjoy watching reality about Austria? You know that different Austria. Uh, not exactly Harley Davidson parked in front of. Arnold Schwarzenegger's home, original birthplace, uh, but a real, real, real Austria, uh, a real mentality they have, and 
a real experience from somebody who really, really needed child who really, really needed help to escape hell, which went on right across the border and was instead thrown into circumstances like this. Um, Schwarzenegger uh, used somebody else. Um, <laughs> um, whom the hell did he use? I do not know. But there was somebody who acted like was a uh, Schwarzenegger. Um, uh, and demanded from me to point where his home is. Uh, Google insisted me will have the photos street bicycle bike and this and that like this right in front of the uh, not they didn't say that it's going to be in front of Schwarzenegger's home uh, they never said this uh, they suggested something that's going to be like I think during MK Ultra they suggested it's going to be like past one house or something like this and that's supposed to remind me of Schwarzenegger bicycle that kind of stuff yeah no uh, the thing is that this place here, the people from here, uh, I slept in this some of these houses here. Um, I know how it's inside of this house, everything. I was here inside with the Schwarzenegger too. Uh, but that doesn't mean that this is the house from the Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger actually even in a way condemned this location here because... Uh, he says that they're doing the stuff without his knowledge that does not necessarily has um, his views, uh, share his views. But the real Schwarzenegger was actually quite merciless. And then they insisted that Schwarzenegger is also um, this here, this home here that you see. <laughs> this, is a, this is the home where there used to be some old lady inside. Um, they heavily, heavily participated in MK Ultra, uh, but then I think she might have passed away in 2013. I'm afraid. And I'm not really sure. Uh, that would be like 2013. This lady here, uh, a neighbor, a very, very good neighbor, Schwarzenegger liked. Um, which one of these homes, if there really is a second home from Arnold Schwarzenegger here, that will belong to Schwarzenegger, I don't know. Uh, I know this house here, uh, I know this house here, uh, and I know this house here, and did I even go any? This is all the area where I was tortured, you know. This is all the torture area here. The fuck is this? Eh? That's on the middle of the street. Eh? Crap. Uh, stories they gave me about where his house is uh, are too many. Uh, we asked Schwarzenegger why is it that he doesn't buy another home and this and that. And he might have bought another home, second home or something like that, but not more than that. He's actually afraid of the people from here. Uh, and he wants to keep like a low profile. Because uh, he stated that people don't like to, uh, you know, they will, they will feel quickly like threatened, like that, that you're fucking buying the whole place. People don't like that kind of stuff. He's very, he was toward his people here from Tal. Schwarzenegger was extremely um, understanding. I'm going to say understanding, basically.
modernization of the school uh, took place. This was like a first MK Ultra success for the Tal City. MK Ultra success, this court. Uh, this is school, probably, or what is this thing here? Uh, this stuff was uh, the way you see it uh, uh, with uh, those modern windows and stuff like that. You know, this, this stuff like this that, that looks like more presentable. Uh, yeah, this this stuff was done. I don't know how old the hell I was. I was probably like. Uh, who the hell knows? Maybe I was like 14 years old. Was I like a 14 years old? I'm thinking about like eighth grade, was like an eighth grader maybe. When I would come here, um, I'm thinking about this stuff here. I was asked numerous times if I would want to live here, and uh, my answer was for a very very long time. Yes, I would. To get away from that Yugoslav shithole, I would give anything in the world to escape. Uh, <clears throat> uh, even as far as this Slovenian problems I had. But would I consider it today? Uh, I'm going to say to you, absolutely not. You know what, this, this happened, this goes like to 1981, this stuff here. This is 1981. It's got written 1981. Do you see it? All over it says 1981. How old the hell I was in 1981? I was like 11 years old. 1982, I'm going to go. 1982, there you go. Huh? What do you say about this? Now you're in, in Tal and you have somebody coming from nowhere. And it just says 1982. Um, eh, you know, I, I just wanted to give you an idea about uh, this stuff. There's a lot of people that pass through here that were meeting me when I was subjected to this killing here. These are killing fields of Belgrade, of Ljubljana, because Germans just want it that way. We're the nicest people that, that you see. These hikers, bikers, and stuff like this that's passed through. They were horrified, actually, with the shit they watched that went on inside of this place. How the Germans afforded this kind of swinery, I do not know. All my neighbors were here. Uh, I saw the guy here that I promised him one time. Uh, I'm going to come back and uh, I don't know. This was like totally violent street, this fucking place. Here it is. Uh, it was only pleasant once uh, and afterwards it just turned into a, a, a extremely aggressive uh, violent place. Uh, it's basically when I went to the to the U.S. and uh, and basically I got to know these people, view them. This is a, a fucking crazy. This guy here. This is the guy that I think I promised him that I'm gonna go and burn him and him his home and the whole fucking thing that he has. It was nothing other than violence. Sorry. Uh, but the truth is truth. Uh, does this have to do with the Arnold Schwarzenegger? Um, yes and no. Oh, this is a nice guy. This guy who had this car, this this car, he bought the brand new this car, you know, this Volkswagen uh, Golf, 
like this that you see it uh, I always like this one and you know you, you, it's it's but it's like this everywhere around the world whatever the MK Ultra went they were taking every little detail and only the people that I liked and even the cars that I liked owners of the cars that I liked this works in Graz this is he bought brand new this car very nice guy anyways um they would post on the street they would post with but they don't want to know nothing about what the fuck went on over the course of the years and so on uh once they learn they're not going to be able to choke me destroy me kill me uh by the way these people also labeled me as mentally ill there was a lot of torture that went on inside of this home here fuck that uh, i know that it was borut pahar and milan kucha that were guests inside and they went over there for drink and stuff. I, I understand that, that you make money with it. Uh, but fuck man, is it like really necessary that you that you that you rate the person as mentally ill and you do everything possible to destroy one? Uh, back in the day this place was actually even uh, I think that they had a table here where they would drink and so on yeah this here where you have these trees here this there would be like a like a little table here they would have oh, this is I'm thinking the Tarerai quite long 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 ago how long ago the hell was this uh, when I was driving the truck probably in the United States 2004 they really really enjoyed themselves their their uh, standard of living was so much better uh, there you go just like you see it with the cheers I don't understand what the fuck is going on with this stuff here a little earlier we haven't seen this and now we see something completely different so um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I know the fucking trees when they seeded them. Maybe the biggest insult. You know what the biggest insult was? Well, let me see something else here, because now that I really do not like. What the hell is this? Uh, I don't know if it's possible, but it looks like they cut the tree. And they cut the tree. Is it possible that they cut the tree? Oh, then this place is a completely different place, yeah. Um, basically, um, basically what I'm going to say to you is that you know this tree look at it it's like a really really beautiful tree i want the tree like this on the garden and uh you know my neighbor ul that would go here and torture me together with the neighbor uh Dane Kolenz. they would bring the neighbors here and they would torture here um they suggested me you see this tree it looks like it tears you keep looking at this tree like tears are running down your face basically this is how you are this is how we destroy you this is how we kill you basically the only thing you can see yourself now when it comes to the tal is basically in this tree here which is not quite true huh? if you remember i told you about other trees even why they remain so small right but that's fucked up right that they would do stuff like this to you or they would mistreat you like this and so on right I mean, not a not a very nice stuff um huh. i could tell you more about it 
uh, but what the fuck you want I think for a mentally ill person is not bad uh, I think it's good enough frankly um, No, this tree was just, um, why did I like that tree? Uh, I don't give a fuck about uh, these people. This tree is just because it was always, since I was a baby, almost, no, not really. Since I was six years old, this tree was with me, and I always appreciate anything that, that, that is next to me, either that's a person, a human being, a living being, animal, whatever it is, or... Um, uh, a tree uh, I get attached to it because in my memory that helps me form certain memories it helps me sort out through the sentiments certain things <laughs> like this was the tree that believe it or not got my interest you know how I got my interest through this here through this street here. This was the street that I always liked very much. When I saw this here, this street here, this is what always captured my mind. These trees. And they knew everything, what I like and what I don't like. They knew everything. This yellow stuff, they told me they did it for me. I don't know, this is a very, very beautiful street. Too bad this tree was cut down, but this owner here from this restaurant, uh, he wanted his place to be seen like shining. He said that his house is so beautiful. Uh, he is in a position like this, that his house always is um, you know, always was like this shining eyes catching the um, the sun like this, you know. You know, it's kind of positive. The interior remodelation as far as rooms and stuff at one point in time i wanted to have the house like this i wanted to build for me a house that would look like this yeah. perception of the child however has nothing to do with reality and uh, with people having ability to steal dreams uh, it's the wealthiest business in the world because the dreams are the most expensive thing in this world from the losers not but from those that are not losers the dreams are the most expensive thing in the world They started to fix this when I was like eight years old. Like in 1979, they started to fix rooms inside because it really picked up the business. You know. That's when they started to rearrange the whole house. I don't even know what it is, but they turned one into the guest house, really. 1979, they started to turn this into a guest house. What else? What else I will tell you? This way you also go to Graz. And it's where we would head also back to Slovenia. Schwarzenegger would go walk into Graz. 
and I don't see why not. When he was younger, I mean, even from this automated machine, he would come sometimes buy from here when they would have us or whoever or whomever he used here for MK Ultra to go on. Nineteen reveals a multifaceted individual whose influence extends far beyond the realms of entertainment and Schwarzenegger's background in entertainment and fitness with Shriver's lineage rooted in politics and public service, education, and philanthropy. Citing police sources detailing the critical condition of the beloved star, the incident which unfolded on a seemingly normal day in Los Angeles City on November 18, shook fans to the core. Amidst the chaos, Arnold was attended to by medical professionals at the scene, nestled close to his car following an inexplicable collision that led him through the side of a house. Well, these days the truth is such that nobody knows anymore what is the truth and what the lie is, so why not? I'm going to put this video inside. Cheers to all the liars in this world.